here's a quick overall look at the 25 caliber setup, the Canon's black steel pedestal, and the air tank for my high pressure air system can be seen. Then moving up we can see the manifold and uh, then behind everything the Canon itself and the high pressure air system. The firing switch can be seen with its white handle and red button and blue cord hanging over the cannon. This is a close-up view of the works of my 25 caliber steel BB cannon that in a previous video got to semi-auto fire electronic control put on it which makes it much more efficient in air use. Well, with the semi-auto control on it, yesterday the only breach I had was this sliding bolt-action breach that I've kept here, because that'll allow me to uh, load ammunition that isn't round steel balls. I've got some brass quarter-inch penetrator rounds, and they can be loaded and single-fired through this bolt-action area here. Behind it, I've made an air-operated mechanism. There's a 60-shot uh, tube here, 60 quarter-inch steel BBs are held in there. An air-operated piece moves back and forth, taking a BB out of the magazine, sealing off the magazine, and then releasing the air to propel the BB out the barrel. This is working very well, and I'll pull this mechanism off the cannon later in the video and disassemble it so you can see what's inside it. Here I've set up a test target 10 meters downrange. It's a couple of uh, pieces of 040 thick white painted sign material, one behind the other, uh, hanging from a hook. Now let's see uh, if I can hit them. Oops, got to move the camera a wee bit. Whoa, that was shaky. As I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, I've taken off the breech block mechanism and uh, the clip here to have a better look at them. We have a 55 steel BB tubular clip here. The adapter over here holds it on to the breech assembly. And this breech assembly peels one BB off the magazine, moves it forward, and then uh, fires it. So let's 
open this guy up and see what's in here. Well, here it is opened up. The uh, end here is threaded and you can see white thread tape on it. It connects to the solenoid valve, feeding air through it. And uh, here you can see we have the uh, vent hole drilled right the way through top and bottom and the end of this tube is sealed as you can see uh, with a brass plug. In front of it there's a piston with a return spring. Air pushes this forward to move the BB off the clip and into the barrel. The spring returns it back to its home position after each shot is fired. So essentially what's happening inside is uh, air comes in through the vent holes but it can't leave so it has to push the piston forward moving the BB forward and into the barrel and only there can air get around the blocked end and flow through this hollow bolt to push the BB. The other part of this is simply a uh, housing that's machined for the correct diameters. The BB loads drop, they drop out of the magazine and down in there. And uh, detent is performed by a nib magnet that simply uh, holds the BB from moving back or forward until uh, the piston moves it into the barrel and then releases the air to fire it. It's a mechanism that's working quite well. Here it is assembled and ready for use. Here, the new reciprocating breech assembly uh, with the 55 round steel BB clip her own reassembled on the cannon. With its electronic control and new breech system, this cannon is finished now, and it even works quite well off 125 PSI sharp air. All in all, a successful build. These targets are getting a little mutilated, but let's try a little 25 caliber BB 10 meter target practice. See if we can hit anything with this newly modified cannon. Well, six shots, six targets at 10 meters, hit them all, so I'm happy with this thing. And another bonus of the electronic control for the valve and the reciprocating breech mechanism is it's one BB per shot. No longer do I get the occasional release of two or three BBs per trigger pull. All in all, this is working perfectly now.